Uh, well, then, the moment is almost at hand, the torturously long off season almost complete. What's the mood in an A-League men dressing room during this week? Is it nerves? Is it excitement? What, what, what's your experience? Um, I think it's just been excitement, to be honest, for the boys. Um, as you said, torturously long uh, pre-season. So, yeah, we've had more than enough time. We've, we've worked on everything that we sort of need to work on. And uh, we put in the hard yards early. And we've played a good run of games now as well, leading into the first game. So, yeah, just looking forward to get going. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to play these friendly games, but it's just it's not the same. So I'm excited to play competitively again. Yeah, 100%. That's uh, that's what you want. Um, but yeah, whoever it is, you know, it's it's the same same process for us. Um, you know, we work on what we want to work on, and uh, we've had a look at City as well. And yeah, we're just uh, really excited to get going. Coming into a season as the defending champions, is that does that add a different dimension to the off season? Is that discussed um, that everybody's coming for you effectively? Um, Everyone's always coming for you, I reckon. Like, everyone always wants to beat you. I don't think it matters if you're champions or not. Um, you know, you're, you're never going to get an easy game. So, um, whether there's added from other teams, we'll wait and see. But for us, it, it's been about us um, improving. Um, no matter what, no matter if you win, uh, where you come, it's, it's about improving, um, getting to that next level. Um, I think the coaches for us have been fantastic throughout the preseason, um, pushing us again, obviously, after the success of last year. Um, pushing us again to that next level, um, you know, pushing us as individuals to, to reach the, the next level. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really excited. I think, I think um, the whole team's going to be excited and we've had a really good pre-season, so just looking forward to it. You're coming off the player of the season, just signed a long-term deal as well. What heights are you hoping to achieve personally this um, evening? Staying fit, number one. Um, but just, just the same as last season, you know, keep... Keep improving uh, from a personal point of view. Um, you know, the de defensive side of my game, which I think came a long way last year, um, to keep improving on that front. And, and I've been working closely with Foxy in the preseason to, to find ways that I can do that. And then obviously at the other end, you know, contributing, um, you know, I'm hoping for, for some goals and assists um, and help those forward boys as much as I can. And, you know, I think we've brought in some, some really good players to help us do that as well. Looking at the Western United squad, sort of feels like it's not broke, so why fix it? You're running it back with a lot of continuity. What sort of evolutions should we expect from this rather stable squad coming into this season? Yeah, well, I think we lost, obviously, we lost Rene uh, Crin. Um, we brought in Tongo Dumbia, um, and he's been, he's going to be a rock for us because he's a, he's a really big lad, and he uh, moves around the park really well for his size. So he's, he's good on the ball, and he's also very, very hard in the challenge, so that's going to be important for us. Um, and then obviously Jimmy Troisi as well, and everyone knows the quality that he possesses. Um, so I think there's just been sort of that, that fine tuning. Um, but I think for us, you know, last year we started at ground zero with a new coach and, and so many new players. And this year, you know, we sort of know what to expect. Um, we know our defensive structures, but we've been able to sort of go to that next level with our defensive structure. Um, and hopefully now with the ball, um, it becomes a lot easier because I think last year we, we didn't really hit our straps for, for a while. Um, we were sort of, you know, finding our feet and finding the way we want to play and what works for us. And I think this year we've, we've sort of, OK, this worked for us last year. How can we improve on that? How can we build on that? Um, and hopefully, you know, we can, we can dominate games even more this year and then obviously stay as strong as possible at the back as well. Yeah, I think he's a um, he's always been a top player. I, I remember watching him when I was young. I'm an Adelaide boy, and I remember watching him at Adelaide United. And um, I was a big fan of him back then. Um, but obviously, as he's as he's you know gone on throughout the years, he's become a leader as well, which is um, you know something that he's added to his game. Um, but yeah, you know he's he's a good pro. Uh, he's a good person first and foremost. He's a good pro. Um, always does the right things and looks after himself. And congratulations to him for for 300 games. Touching on what you said about building on the attacking style of Western United's game last season, your success was largely built around the defence, about how you were incredibly difficult to break down, and once you took a lead, that was it. How do you maintain that defensive fortitude 
um, when you are trying to make improvements to your tagging, or how do you make sure it isn't sacrificed in the name of a bit more attacking flair? Yeah, it won't, I don't think it will be sacrificed. The more we've got the ball, then that's the more time that we've got to set up defensively, um, if that makes sense. I suppose with our rest defence and making sure all of our players are in the right position so that when we do have the ball and we're going forward, um, players like me, you know, our, our centre-backs, our, our sixes are all in the right positions, that when we lose the ball, when the ball drops, that we're in the right positions to pick it up and then attack again um, and sort of keep them pinned in a little bit. So that's going to be really important for our game this year. Um, but, you know, the, the group we've got, everyone's willing to work um, and I think that's a huge thing for us and, and our success last year. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about the, you know, the back four and, and Youngie and things like that, but it really is the whole team. You know, if you see our wingers, the amount of ground they cover. Um, and obviously, you know, I, I go forward quite a bit, but the runs that Payne makes to, to cover me is incredible. Um, and, and everyone, not just Payne. So I think that's what, what, you know, maybe sets us apart from, from some other teams. The, the plate, what you want this year then, after you've got the championship, and this plate next time on, on tick-off? Yeah, I, I want everything. Um, like, I, I'm, a, I'm a winner. Um, you know, I'm never happy even if it's at training and we don't win. Um, so, yeah, I think I think the boys probably get sick of me always always moaning and yelling at training. But that's just how I am. That's something that's built in, in me. Um, I've been like that since I, was, since I can remember. Um, so, yeah, you know, I want to win. I want to win every game and... And you know, I hope that that we'll be up there, and I'm confident that, that we can be if we play to our to our potential. Dita, captaining again this year. Um, how's he sort of approached the off season after missing the grand final, and how do you see his leadership when he couldn't get on the pitch? Yeah, like he's worked so hard, um, you know, throughout the whole off season. Um, we were, we were you know on holidays, and, and he was back in Italy working hard. Um, he's done you know everything he can to to get himself back back fit. Um, so huge credit to him, even at his age and everything that he's accomplished. You know, he's he's put in those hard yards, and he's he wants to be part of part of this, um, which I think speaks volumes of, of the club and and you know the group that we have because you know he wants to be a part of it. Um, but yeah, it's you know it's great for us to to have him back. You know, he's been back training and and he's looking really good. So you know, it's um, just going to make us stronger having him, you know, in the selection mix as well. Thanks guys, thank you.